Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. This week was really exciting for me because I finally got to fly home from Toronto to Vancouver on Wednesday. This was supposed to be a journaling vlog, but it kind of got meddled with everything else. So it's a little bit messy, but I hope you enjoy it anyways. Excited. I actually also purchased um, Crime and Punishment, but they cancelled it for my order, which is fine. This one will take me quite a while to get through, I'm sure. So I'm in this awkward place where I don't want to get too much food because I don't want to waste it if I can't finish it before I leave. But obviously I still need to eat, so I'm just getting like little portions of everything. These are some of the treats that I'm giving my sister when I do see her eventually. I also don't usually get prepackaged oatmeal, but I also don't want to do dishes at like 5 in the morning before I leave for a flight, so yeah. This is my laptop for um, my internship. I have very little space here because I also have my own personal monitor, but when I go back to BC, I will have a lot more space. Are we surprised? Absolutely not. Good evening, or rather good night, I guess. So I plan on doing some designing uh, for new releases. I'm also going to paint my nails. Um, let's see. I will use Essie Less Is Aura. Um, this is one of my new favorite colors. And I'm also going to read my new book, which I'm so excited. I already started. I'm only 18 pages in, but I'm already loving it. And I think it'll be a nice way to end off the night. Okay, so that was a bit of a fail. I only ended up getting Great Expectations, Charles Dickens. I really did want to read Crime and Punishment, but I guess uh, it wasn't meant to be. Honestly, this looks a little questionable, but it smells really good, so um, I might put some peanut butter on top. My sister is the best. She got me three cartons. Of chai latte. This was my Keurig from high school. I'm not the biggest fan of Keurigs, but um, I will be using this for the next two weeks. And she got me one kilograms worth of Biscoff cookies. This is what I call a balanced diet. This is part of my uh, fountain ink collection and it's really dusty because nobody else in my family uses fountain pens, so this just sits here for like over a year um, while I use the other half in Toronto. This is Tsukiyo. This is probably my favorite ink of all time. I also have Jirban. A lot of Diamine inks. Diamine is one of my favorite brands. 
and this is probably my second favorite color. Um, it's a really nice green. This is the back of my Hobonichi, which I don't use, so I just do random pen swatches. So, what can I write? Okay, that was terrible. It's kind of hard to do it one-handed. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying, but you can see um, how pretty the color is. I also have this sort of like washi vault, just a bunch of our different washies. I also have this washi drawer underneath with a lot of our older washies as well. And look at how pretty the vellum turned out. It is a silver holographic foil, and this one is just um, a plain black and white one. This is going up this Saturday, which is actually the day before this video, so um, I'm not sure of the stock situation, but I'm very excited to release these. Okay, guess what I found? A random sketchbook from 2018. Um, it's mostly empty, but there's some interesting drawings in here. So I was still in high school then, and I based a lot of my drawings off Victoria's Secret models, just for like the poses and stuff. Um, what is she doing? I have no idea what that is. River muck. Um, Golden Globes. I'm guessing this is Emma Watson. It kind of looks like her. And a random bird. We have this lady, this girl. I don't know who these people are. We have some emojis. Um, I never ended up doing the Harry Potter revamp. I did do the llama stickers. This is Met Gala, I believe. I was really into fashion drawings and half drawn face, that's kind of creepy and the rest is blank um, so yeah, I might continue this this year um, and I have a bunch of these sketchbooks so I'll try to find more and show you guys another time These are my really dusty Prismacolor colored pencils that I got when I was like 12 or 13. I also built my own little um, pencil box out of foam board because I was a very crafty kid. What I'm gonna do now is dust them off and group them into color families because I want to start using them again. As a little backstory, I begged my mom to purchase these Prismacolors for me. Um, if you are not familiar with Prismacolors, they are really buttery, more higher-end colored pencils. My mom eventually gave me her credit card and let me purchase them, even though we were not financially stable at all. Like, I don't know why she would do that, but I mean, I know she loves me, but uh, I don't know. It just makes me sad to come home and see these all dusty. So I am going to polish them up and start using them again. So here they are. I grouped them as best as I could by color family. I also found my set of Faber-Castell Polychroma. I don't even have a pencil sharpener here, but I think I am going to create some art tonight with these.
Um, so I realized that I won't be vlogging my daily journal today because I will be filming an Instagram reel of Friday, which is today. I don't have anything interesting going on other than preparing for new releases and several video meetings, hence this outfit. So yeah, I will definitely check in with you if there's anything cool going on. So I did something really stupid. Um, I accidentally put more art prints up for sale than what we have on hand, so I had to quickly get more of them printed. This first envelope has all of the... Oh gosh, I forgot the name. What is this? Oh right, um, it's only up from here. This is inspired by the movie Up. And then we have... I also forgot the name of this. I think it's like... Boo Time Story? I'm not too sure. And then I have the... Um, Jack and Sally, or Sally and Jack, Nightmare Before Christmas one. Oh yes, these are the... We Found Wonderland, inspired by Alice in Wonderland. And this is one of my favorites because I purposely made it a rainbow. So it goes from red, orange, yellow, green, blue, to purple. And I also have the afternoon nap, I believe. My voice just went really high, that was weird. Okay, so these are the square ones. This is the anniversary um, freebie that we gave out. And I believe I named this Sunday mornings. I really need to start being more careful with inventory numbers. I'm lucky that my print shop is local, so it's not too big of a deal that I messed up the numbers. Um, this is rainy day, I believe. Those are all of the supplemental inventory because I'm stupid. Okay, let's do a quick overview. So this was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday when I had the actual flight, um, Thursday, and Friday, which I did not film myself doing because I instead filmed it for Instagram Reels, but it's pretty similar to my other ones. So yeah, this video is probably all over the place because obviously it's a little more hectic when I travel, but I will be doing some more behind the scenes shop videos very soon. So yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.